Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for your patience. Ms. Griffin, are you on the line and with us, ma'am? Yes, sir, I am. Thank you, ma'am. Is Mr. Griffin on the line? Yes, Your Honor, I'm correct. Thank you, sir. Is Mr. Lord on the line? Yes, sir, I am present. Thank you, sir. Is Mr. Braithwaite on the line? Yes, sir, I'm here. Thank you, sir. As I stated before the recess, there was much to go through. And so I appreciate everyone's patience um, as I spent some time going through this to ensure that it was exactly as I believed it should be. When I, when I look at this, I consider what is an agreement, but the offer, the acceptance, and the consideration. I look at definitions from the Uniform Owner Resident Relations Act, specifically 47-8-3 in the definitions. And I looked at rent, whether it be currency or in kind. I looked at rental agreement in that definition under paragraph P as in Paul. Now I'm going to use, just for clarity's sake, what the original case numbers were. I, you'll hear me talk about the claim by Ms. Griffin. You'll hear, you'll hear me talk about the claim from Mr. Braithwaite and then the counterclaim from Ms. Griffin. And it's done for clarity purposes because we're not here in, we're with each other face to face where it can all happen in not just in real time, but where people can hold on to things. And so in this remote setting, I want to make sure that I'm as clear as I possibly can. Keeping in mind, as I go through, that these were consolidated and it will show as entire claim from Ms. Griffin, and that'll include the claim and the counterclaim. So that will be one claim. And then the counterclaim is what will turn into what was filed as a claim in 205 by Mr. Braithwaite. But again, I'll break those out just to make sure that I am crystal clear, or at least to the best of my ability. After review and consideration of the testimony and evidence provided today, even though the writ of restitution it in and of itself was withdrawn with good reason, and so I give thanks for that, for the claim for filing fee, service fees, and what would have been the writ of restitution, my judgment is awarded to the defendant, Mr. Braithwaite. To the claim filed by Mr. Braithwaite, as I go through and I went through the five prongs of what was claimed, there were portions of it that were outside my legal authority. There were portions of it where, for example, even though there was an agreement that included room and board, there was no evidence to suggest um, and break down the specific $5,000 in, in that second piece. As I also felt there was insufficient evidence to support the third prong, to include no efforts at mitigation until after the filing, and then it appears that that mitigation or that ultimate conclusion of a license and then moving away did in fact happen. In that claim put forth with those five prongs from Mr. Braithwaite, I've, my judgment is awarded to Ms. Griffin. In terms of the counterclaim, which I'll include on the order itself as part of the claim by Ms. Griffin. When I look at room and board, groceries and other things, that gave the appearance as part of the agreement and other items were not, in, and I am referring to attachment B for clarity, they appeared to, to be gifts or voluntarily given. And so, 
My judgment on that portion would be for the counter defendant or Mr. Braithwaite for clarity, which means the property would be restored to Ms. Griffin. It means each individual party will absorb costs and go forth. I want to make sure that everyone involved is aware. You may appeal my decision to the district court, as is your right. There are requirements in terms of time. There are requirements in terms of notice and service. And so I ask that you adhere to those and that information will be included as appropriate. Also, given the complexity and more importantly, my remote setting, please allow us until tomorrow before the paperwork is finished and then each party may contact the court at your convenience to ensure that you have in fact copies at your desire. Are there any questions? Ms. Griffin. No, Your Honor. Are there any questions, Mr. Braithwaite? No. Are there any questions, Mr. Griffin? No, Your Honor. Are there any questions, Mr. Lord? No, Your Honor. And I, I give thanks to each and every one of you for spending your time with us today. Again, we will get the paperwork done as quickly as possible. And then the magistrate court in Otero County is the court, of course, to contact um, for that paperwork tomorrow. That being said, court will be at recess pending further hearings elsewhere. And I wish you all a good day. Ms. Narvaez, if you would please stay on the line with me so we can work out the details of paperwork. Yes, Judge. Thank you, Thank you Judge. May I be excused? Yes, of course. Thank you. And I do wish you all a good day. Thank you, sir. You're welcome.